you know, handle um, similarly at both of them, but the intermediate tracks are just scarier because, you're, you know, you're going so much faster. And uh, so th this track's just, um, you know, if you mess up a little bit, you slide around a little bit, and it's, uh, you know, you don't risk as much. But there's still, you know, knife edge to drive. There's still really, um, you know, it feels a lot like driving a USAC Silver Crown car around here to me. You know, the, the first time I came here in the Silver Crown cars, I was amazed at how much the cars moved around, and, you know, you, you could really... Um, you could hustle them, and, and these cars feel kind of the same way to me, and I, I think that's fun. Carl, you did a lot of pro progress on the one-and-a-half-mile tracks. Yeah. Anything over the winter on a flat track like this that you can relate to in preseason testing to today or this weekend? Yeah, I, I think all the stuff we've worked on will, will, will apply. You know, we won it um, at, at Bristol last year with this car, and we won it at uh, Dover, and um, we sat on the pole and led till we blew up here. And... Um, I felt I feel like the the you know we talked about the gains we'd made this morning Chris Andrews and I did and all of those gains from the last time we ran here till now you know should make us faster so I hope it applies I mean um, I, you know it it'd be really neat to win on a, a track like this that's so much different than than something we've won on so far this year that would be cool Okay we got a question right up front here Debbie uh, Saturday night race under the lights, yeah. uh, mile track. I mean, that's, that's cool. It's got to be perfect for, for a guy like you where you came from. Yeah, it's, it's, Saturday night races are fun. Um, this place is just beautiful at night. I mean, it's uh, it's a really cool race to watch. I think that it's it's a unique race track, which makes it really neat. Um, it's a um, it's a race track that you can be really racy on. I mean, we're watching Kevin Harvick qualify right now. One of the the greatest races I've had in my life was with Kevin Harvick in a in a nationwide race here. You know, we just swapped back and forth and rubbed on each other and, and leaned on each other for it seemed like 50 or 100 laps. And th this place is fun like that. You can really race hard here. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. If um, we saw Jeff Gordon last week, how if you're a little bit off, you're way yeah. far off. But that being said, the Roush cars, you guys are using the same <coughs> sim stuff. Sim data to set the cars all up the same. What's differentiating the five drivers? You know, I don't know. The um, it seemed like last week, it seemed like cars came and went. You know, uh, you know, Kenseth, you know, Matt, his car, when he was out front, he was untouchable. I mean, we could, I couldn't run what he was running. Um, you know, and then we got out front and stretched that big lead, and I, I think it, it kind of came and went. I don't know if it was uh, different tire sets or if they were that touchy with adjustments. You know, I, I thought it was aero dependent, but then I got behind Kyle, uh, you know, Kyle Bush, and I felt like I could catch him, and you know, and we got a good run on on the outside, and if I remember correctly, passed him on the outside, and I thought that went pretty well. I, I didn't feel like uh, what happened. Oh, really? Um, I didn't feel when I got behind cars. I felt like my car gave up a little bit of grip, which they're always gonna. I mean, you can't, the old car, new car, are all gonna do that. But I felt like it kind of gave it up in a pretty balanced way. It might have gave up 60% of front grip, 40% of rear. So it got a little tighter, but it was not a huge aero type thing. I thought it was actually okay. What were you asking me though? Question back there in the back. Did I cover that? Yeah. Oh, you're asking? Yeah. Yeah, and he was coming. Biffle was good other than that carburetor issue. Question in the back. Go ahead. Carl, you've run so good lately. Can you get better when Bob comes back, or is it just going to be sort of an even flow when he shows up? That's a good question. Um, Bob and I talked about it, and we have been running really well, and I had to reassure him that, I, I mean, I can't wait till he gets back. Um, I didn't realize until he was gone, you know, you don't know what you got until it's gone, I guess is the saying or whatever, but um, I didn't realize how much of a relationship we'd built on the radio how efficient our communication was, and um, nothing nothing against Chris Andrews or Robbie Riser, but it seems like it takes us one or two back and forth, you know, in, you know, uh, transmissions on the radio to get the same thing done that that Bob and I would do. So I think, and there there've been a couple moments that have been kind of confusing, and we've we've uh, you know we've made small mistakes. So I think when Bob comes back, we'll actually be better, which is going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. Go ahead, Jim. Jim Hunter, Phil Observer. Carl, are you, you've had a couple of assists with the penalty this year and then your flown engine. Yeah. Are you much of a guy to play the what-if game? Do you sit back much? Yeah. You've had so much success. 
despite those two instances, do you wonder sometimes uh, what it would be like if they had gone a different way? Yeah, I, I, I do, but I... Hey, man, doing all right? Sorry again, but... I ran into Elliot's motor home in the parking lot out there. Hey, it worked out pretty good for both of us. Hey, I'll run into it next week if you want. Yeah. Um, come, come and check with me every time before you qualify yeah, if it's yeah. going to work out like this. All right. Um, I backed my truck into his motorhome just a little bit. It was all good. I was paying attention to the mirror, and I should have been paying attention to the front headlight. That was my problem. I'm going to start uh, parking beside him every week. <laughs> seemed to work, seemed to work out I told him he'd go, he'd go take it out on mine, but... Uh, uh, you and Clint were doing that. Yeah, <laughs> just it. Okay, so um, no, I don't play the what if game. I, I really, I think all you can do is focus on what's ahead. I think, I mean, Elliot or anybody else can tell you that. I mean, you can't live in last week. This thing changes so fast, and um, I'm hoping we can get over that penalty. And I mean, if we miss the chase by a couple points, then you know, maybe we we'll think about it a little bit then. But I, I think we'll be all right. Anything else for Carl before we let him go to nationwide practice? One more question from Dick. What happened to my motor last week? <clears throat> right. What happened was um, I've been real, uh, real touchy about engine stuff because we just by chance. We, it seems like every time we blow an engine, when we're leading. You know, we've got a great car. And so what happened was Sunday, uh, they told me that the car had one of the cylinders leaked down a little more than they wanted it to on Saturday. They were being extra cautious and they did a leak down. They let it cool off before they did that, and um, looks like Jamie's doing pretty good here. And uh, and then and then they started it again, and then it was okay. So me personally, I was like, hey, if there's any chance of something being wrong with it, I want to change it. And man, we had a big powwow, and I was fighting really hard to uh, to get the engine changed, and and they said, no, we're not doing it. Uh, you know, I mean, Jack said we would do it, but he said he he didn't think I was the guy to be making decisions on that, and uh, it ended up being a really good thing that we got it all aired out and we, I learned a lot about the situation and I think that uh, if we can work through everything like that we'll be good but what happened at Atlanta was was a deal where I thought maybe we could have handled it more like that and it would have been better you know Carl we appreciate it we'll let you get out to practice good luck this week all right cool thanks a lot guys hey, good job good job yeah thanks